Hey, welcome back. We are back in Timberborn, and today we've got another piece of our reservoir to get in. We're going to get a reservoir down this side over here. Also, we're going to try and get this one that we started on last time in there. So we're going to start over here. First things first, I'm going to turn off all of these so that we can send somebody up here pick up this little bit of metal that's right there. Next, we're going to move this road probably back one. Get rid of this horrible double road. There we go. And we'll even get rid of that one for now. Now, let's figure out where we want our dam exactly. Or I guess our side of the reservoir, which is a dam. Let's see. Let's take our levee and... Do I want to go from here? No, I kind of want to go from here. That way I can open this up and we can fill all of this and get rid of these here. We have uh, less locks to manage, really. So let's go from here. And we've got... Well, we've got our metal collector kind of in the way there. But we'll figure it out. Here, I'm going to have to go up one... Come this way, I want to preserve this road here. So we're going to put these levees in right next to the land here. For now, at least. There we go. And we don't really need that anymore. I'm going to take that out as well. And we'll come through here. Now that's the first level. So, I think we'll go ahead and figure out exactly how tall we want this. Let's put in the levees. Let's make them just as tall as this one for now. Looks like we've got a drought coming in, but I'm not too worried about it at the moment. So we're going to put all of this in. We're going to get all of these in. Those two we'll have to wait on. There we go. We'll get those, those, and this. We'll come back through, get all of these. But to get up here, we're going to have to make a ladder. And make that a little bit easier to get to. So let's grab the ladder here and we'll just use the tool so they can duplicate that and get up there. Put you in there. Then we'll come down this way and we'll put all these in. And we'll get all of these in here. Let's do the levees. There we go. We'll get the rest of these in there. We're a bit low on trees. So we're going to have to find some trees around here so that we get all of these done. We'll probably also have to install some various other pieces so that they can get around these particular corners here, but I'm not too worried about that. We'll find something. We might even have a mod that can help us out there. We could just use platforms as well, but that might look a little strange. So we'll come out this way. There we go. And one more. Now we're going to have to come down here and close this off eventually, but I'd like to get the majority of this done first along with this done. So We'll come back to the end of that here after a while. As for trees, we have plenty of trees out here and along the edge still, and some up here that we can get to, and even a couple here and maybe some up here if we need those as well. So we can't use these anymore because they're out of range of everything. So let's go ahead, toss in. That would be under the wood tab. There we go. We'll toss in two more here. And make sure these are all marked to cut. Oh, not quite. So we'll get those all marked. And we'll actually come through and say, yeah, go ahead and get all of those as well. Let's go ahead and get those out of there. Those out of there. And we'll figure out how to get over to here to get to those. Let's take a look real quick. Maybe we can just toss in... Here's a ladder, put a ladder over, 
over there. One platform on this side. That should at least give us a road here. There we go. Now here, we have plenty of room. So what I'm going to do here, let's see if we can take... You know what? We're going to take those decoration blocks. And we're just going to fill in here. Toss in a nice forester. Uh, something like that. And we will come down this way. And there we go. We'll also want to put maybe... Maybe some platforms out here. There we go. We'll put one in there. And we'll put one in here. Now we'll put in a couple of lumberjack flags. One, two, three, and four. Then finally, we'll just fill this whole place in with oak. Uh, I want a path up there, so we'll take a look at that here in just a second. We might actually have to come out and around this as well. There we go. Let's say this path comes out here. We need to turn those around, don't we? There we go. One and two. Then they can come down here and connect into this. And we'll want them to go up the hill here as well. So let's toss in that. We'll plan for... There we go. This and this. That'll get them up the hill on this side. But it's definitely going to take them a little while to build. Something I've been wanting to do is optimize my space for water. And I remembered I have the Arch mod installed, which I don't get to use very often anymore. So what I'm going to do is first we're going to move our large tank over here. We'll put all that water in there. And once that's done, we'll demolish this, move it over, and then we'll start building upwards with these tanks and see if we can maybe condense this space down a little bit since we've got kind of limited room down here. I went ahead and shuffled some of the workers around now, but I'm going to go ahead and shuffle some of the recipes around as well. We're going to take this bakery and change it to maple pastries as well. The bread usually gets made pretty quickly, but as you can see, we're not making much headway on the pastries. So the bread might go down while we're doing this, but hopefully we can fill up the pastries and then switch back to bread and fill it right back up. But we'll find out. Our large tank made it in, so we're going to go ahead and set that to water. And we're going to tell them we want to obtain all the water here. And we're going to tell them we don't want any water here, so hopefully all of our beavers there... Nope, was that them? Mm, some of them are... Go ahead and moving that. So once they get that emptied, we'll take that out and we'll take a look at moving it over one so that we can put arches in over this. This water tank is empty now, so we're going to go ahead and try and move it over. Let's see what we've got. We need to grab some platforms. I'm going to do three tall there, three tall there, and we're going to put one of the tanks underneath. Now we can unlock one of our arches here. There we go. Yep, we got to purchase it. And now we can simply put more on there and we can build upward. In fact, we can build upward a couple of times at least. There we go. And get some more arches. There we go. Not sure why that was still... Okay, there. It is unlocked. I'm going to want a ladder here. So let's toss that in. There we go. And it's just going to come right up here. We're going to need a couple of platforms to be able to build all of this. There we go. Let's make sure you go in fairly quickly. They've already got this one in. Let's get water in there. And we'll let them build this, well, for lack of a better term, water tower. So that should let us move a lot of these up here. And we'll probably stack another one. 
And then we might even put something else here. Maybe we'll put some bad water there whenever we finally start getting it. With the end of the first wall coming up here, I still haven't found a great answer for what to do about the turns. Uh, I've looked into these side platforms, but those cost more than just the regular platforms. I've looked into this side platform that can go anywhere, and those cost a lot more. So we're just going to go with the easy solution and put in a couple of these platforms here. And then we'll get the ones to go on top of them. We'll do this. There we go. And that should let our beavers continue building down this wall. We still don't have the end up yet. So we won't be able to save too much in here. But we don't have the wall even close to really done yet. So I'm not too worried about catching the water for the next one. As long as it fills up our reservoir again. Which hopefully within five days we'll figure out if it'll still do that. Our beavers cleared out a couple more trees around here. However, I'm going to come over and pick up these as well. Just so we can get a little bit of extra lumber. I think, well, we were caught up on our lumber, but it looks like we're behind again. So... We're just going to see what we can and can't pick up. There's a little bit left over here as well. So we might as well send somebody over there. We'll go here and we'll say one beaver can make sure to get those trees. And on the outside ring here, it looks like they are almost done there. They're just moving their way down here. With the upgrade to some of the liquid storage, I figure it's a good time to go ahead and upgrade some of the other storage. So we're going to take this. We're going to say empty you. And we might have to switch something out or just toss in another one to hold those for just a minute. There we go. We'll do that. We'll put in a scrap here. And we'll say obtain. No, we want you empty as well. So both of you need to be empty. And then we'll replace this one with one of the underground piles. And then we'll even build arches over that as well. So that we can keep even more storage in. And eventually when we get dynamite, we'll even this out a bit. So we can put uh, one large underground pile for some of the stuff, and then we'll simply put regular piles on top of it. There we go. Now they've got those out of there. We will go ahead, put in this underground pile. There we go. These only need one platform. We'll do this. There we go. And we'll get the arches above those. And we'll start adding regular piles on top. We'll only put one up there for now. Let's grab... Where's the storage? There it is. Large pile here. Because you can't put an underground pile up there, which makes sense. So we'll just keep going up with more and more piles. Let's... Uh, well... We're going to have to move these piles eventually because... We're going to have to get a ladder in there, and we can't really... Well, we might not need a ladder right there. We could probably put a ladder, let's say, down here. If we took the path off this. If we put a ladder here, say here and here. And then we can simply do something like this. There we go. And then as we get more and more piles in here, they can be expanded out that way. They did get the first part of this done. Unfortunately, we have a bad tide coming in, which means we're not going to be able to really close this off like I had hoped. However, we can get some other items in there, such as taking this out of there. We'll take all of these paths out of there. Just cut those right out. There we go. And take all of these out. 
And now we can simply fill this in with more levees. Do this, this, and that. Oh, and then we can go here, fill in all of these. And now what we're going to do is I'm going to put one more row this way that comes out to here. And I want to make sure that I've got at least two everywhere I've got this. So let's take these paths out of here. I don't really need any of these paths either. So I'm just going to take those out. Yep. Take you out. There we go. And we will need to grab one of those. We'll put it right there. And you know what? This could actually be a normal levee. There we go. So the plan is we will raise this up and we need to put in. Let's take you out for just a second. We will put in singular levees or singular floodgates here. We'll put that there. And then eventually we are going to put in floodgates right here. That will cause either the uh, flood to go or the water to go this way out and around. It'll come down here into our reservoir, which should be much larger here before too long. And uh, it's got the option of just going out this side as well. So we'll get that worked on, but it's probably going to take a drought, which it looks like we've got a fairly long bad tide here. So we'll have to deal with that first. They've got our underground pile in already. So we're going to go ahead, empty out all of these. There we go. In fact, this guy is done as well. So we could probably turn this on over here. And we'll keep picking up these small metal piles where we can. We'll get back to the middle eventually. But at the moment, I just want to get everything sorted away. And we'll have to come back and take a look at some of the other stuff. We're slowly starting to lose the battle again with water. So I want to get another one of these in so that we can get on top of that before we have any problems. Now that's going to take down this reservoir even faster. Which last time it ran dry with... Well, not really dry, but we weren't able to pull any more water out of it at uh, about one day left. So here we might have a slight problem until we get that other reservoir in. So we're going to let them create this up here. We got to take that out. Uh, let's see. We got to get them away down there. Let's put in one of these. There we go. For now, we'll just put in a bit of road here, and that should let them get in here. I uh, don't really need these, because they're not connected to anything at the moment, so we can save a couple of logs there. And once they get this in, we'll turn our attention over to the other reservoir and see what needs finished on that. Since our underground pile is done there, I'm going to go ahead and take out this one, this one, and we're going to leave that one just in case we happen to need it, but I'm hoping that we won't. We're going to go ahead and do the same thing right across the road here. There we go. We're going to grab these, and we are going to do that, and now we're going to make arches across here. And there we go. We'll set those up for our metal blocks and we'll just keep making more and more of these getting more of the stuff in there hopefully we're about halfway through this bad tide cycle and we had a major death wave just a lot of beavers died of old age so i'm thinking we need to up our nice well-being maybe just a little bit more and to do that, we're going to grab a monument. We're just going to toss one farmer monument back here. And we'll see if we can get it 
There we go. That should cover all the houses. Yep. That might be a temporary thing, but at least that should add two more points, which should add a little bit of life. Let's see. 27. Where's the beaver? We'll just click on a beaver here. So let's see. Next is at 30. So we'll have to find one more thing to add, but it should boost them up quite a bit. Well, our beavers are surprising me. They're getting farther and farther around the map here. So we're going to turn those off. I went ahead and put in two more lumberjack flags here, and we're just going to keep moving our way around the outer edge. I didn't think we would make it this far, but they are going very quickly, and maybe even eventually they'll be able to connect back up here to the other side. I'm thinking I want a safety block here just so the water doesn't accidentally spill out over here. And then while we're at it, we'll go ahead and put in a ladder so they can connect all these places in. Then we'll put the path along the top here. We probably won't need that. In fact, I should probably do another safety block right there just so we know it's pouring in here. However, the only way to really get over there I guess, is to either make a ladder down. Yeah, I could just do that. We'll make a nice ladder down. I don't need to make anything more complicated than that. We'll do that. They can come over here. And then they should be okay. Actually, now that I'm looking at it, I don't need that block. So we'll take that out of there. And that'll give us a little bit more. In fact, I don't need these blocks. Oh, that's all right. We'll come back to that. Our next underground pile is in, so we're going to go ahead and set that for metal blocks. And we are going to set these two to empty. We'll set this one to metal blocks, too. They kind of sped through that one. But hopefully most of them go to here. And when it does, then we can start on the next storage. Our beavers have most of this in over here, so I'm going to go ahead and take that out of here. Let's go ahead and get in this, and we will plan for some other stuff. Let's see. If I start tossing in, it should not hurt them to toss in at least a level or two here. Let's see if we can put in our levees here. We're going to do this. And hopefully... That just sends it all out here and doesn't cause too much trouble. We'll keep an eye on it, though, here for just a second and see if it does give it any problems. It doesn't look like it so far. I just don't want it splashing over the edge. Is it going up at all? Uh, a little bit. Hmm, well... We'll, uh, we'll keep an eye on it and see if it has any more problems. Well, it overflowed up here. It did not overflow down here. So I took the path away so they can't get in any more here to get contaminated by that. But we'll wait for the rest of the bad tide to go away before we do anything else there. Over here, they're still working on getting in this reservoir. And they're coming closer to the end. So... We're going to go up the side of the mountain here. Going to need at least a ladder here. There we go. A ladder here. We'll do one, two there. And we'll put one up this way. Then they can come across up to here. Although they can't go down there. We'll have to go around. There we go. Let's say another one of you. Here, we're just going to get rid of the trees. And do we have any more? Nope. So we'll go ahead and plan for a little bit more on this reservoir. It can come out all the way to here. We're going to need a way to get rid of that tree, though. Let's see. We'll have to come around this way. And we'll toss in more ladders. There we go. Path can come down here. And we'll say 
Let's get rid of that one. And we will take the reservoir out to here. And I just want to maybe square this off uh, against the cliff here. Actually, where is the cliff height that we want to match? It is this one. So we're going to square it off right here. There we go. We don't need any of these. Let me get rid of those real quick. Yep. There we go. And now we just take and square the end of this off. Let's go levy. There's that and this. Now we can just come across here. Once this is out of there. And this is out of there. We'll also say that's high priority. I would like to put a couple of dams just at the end here. There's a dam and a dam. And let's get that in there. And now the path should be able to go almost all the way around. Now that this season is here, if we can get this done, which it doesn't look like it, we will, we can take out this wall. However, this should refill. We should be okay there. We can also send our beavers back up here. Work a little bit more on this. Let's go ahead, get in. We need, there it is, the levees. We're going to put these in first. And we're going to put in, let's see, where is our... There's our three floodgate. We'll put both of those in, even though really we don't need those. All we need are levees. There we go. We'll do levees, 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 and we'll do one part floodgates, floodgates. There we go. There's the one parts. We'll have to figure out a way to get over there. In fact, I might just do this real quick so they can build it and then build the other one there. And we'll start filling in some of the stuff behind it as well. We don't want bad water getting trapped there. So we will put in, well, I'll first put in the wrong one so that I know to put in the right one. There we go. Put in all of these. And we will close this for now. And we will open these for now. And we'll keep an eye on it just so it doesn't flood. I'm hoping everything gets filled back up. Well, our adventurous beavers have made it around the side of the map. So we're going to move them down even more. It's looking closer and closer to being completely around the map by the end. But we'll find out. Well, the good news is we have got our second water supply finally pouring in over here. So hopefully, with any extra days we get, this fills up this whole water supply again, and our large water pumps can catch up. Right now, it's a little behind, so it's a little worrisome. And now that we don't have this done quite yet either, we don't have the room for any extra water to be stored. With another bad tide coming in, I went ahead and put in the gates over here so that we can get the next bad tide to flow out over here, meaning we should have some water down here. If we put another pump in down there for safety, we should have a little bit of extra water. However, at the moment, it's still pretty close and it's a question of how fast can these beavers get these in here so it's going to be just a race to the finish we've already gone to 20 hours i might just go to 22 and hope that they get everything in there our beavers got in what they needed to get in however it looks like there's not enough room for some of the bad water so we've got a little bit of bad water that's escaping down here we still have all of this down here as well so what i'm going to do for the time being is we're just going to take out this end here 
And hopefully, we'll see if that lets all the bad water be shuffled down to this end. There we go. So we only had a little bit of bad water. And look, it moved back some of this corruption. There's a bit of corruption on this side. We'll have to deal with it. But on the bright side, at least, at least, we don't have a bunch of bad water going down here for the moment. We have bad water coming out of here. We'll have to deal with that eventually. But for now, at least this one piece is in. Since some of these are empty, I'm going to go ahead and put another one up there. When they build that, I will go ahead and remove that. In fact, I might just remove both of them. We'll say empty both of these. There's plenty of other containers to put that water in. And then once that's built, we can focus on getting a different set of towers set up here. In fact, that one's done already. So let's get that one out of here. We'll say you are emptied. So once they get that emptied, we'll, uh, we'll be able to build something there at some point. They managed to finish this water tower, and I've got to say, that is the world's ugliest water tower. I might have to do something with that eventually. Uh, just something to make it look better. I'm not sure what yet, but it is very, very useful to have the water stacked up like that. However, speaking of water, they did finish our our uh, reservoir over here. So this reservoir looks to be even bigger than this one. So we should stop running out of water for the colony for quite a while, or at least I hope we do. So next time, we'll see if we can get this filled. We'll move a couple of things around, and we've got a couple of other projects we got to get started on as well. But that's going to do it for this time. So as always, just want to say thank you very much for stopping by. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe. And I hope to see you next time.